Howdy. Skywarp here is the last animated figure I have, and I'm not going to be getting any more. Also, as a response to one of Von Rajaz's reviews, I'm doing a reverse transformation video for this guy. You'll see why eventually. Obviously, Skywarp is a recolor of Starscream, who I don't have, and the reason for that is I like the look of Skywarp's colour scheme better, so I got this one even when Starscreams were still clogging the shelves in some stores. And it's not hard to see why. The purple, black, orange and light metallic purple on this one all go together marvellously. This type of Seeker repaint always looks the best to me. It's no wonder some of them were made store exclusives. <coughs> Classics. <coughs> Revenge of the Fawn. <coughs> okay, the black is more of a charcoal shade in this case, and I would have preferred a more solid black for better contrast. But even still, this is a superior colour scheme to Star Screams at the very least. As for the mould itself, it's stated in the cartoon that he's a Harrier jet, but it looks more futuristic than realistic. It's mainly the Ford slanted wings that create this illusion. The problem is, well, from above he looks fine, but from underneath you can see lots of robot junk. It's a typical flaw with the jets, but it's made worse by the fact that it's almost as glaring from the sides. He also lacks a lot of mold details, though that's expected with an animated toy. He's got a few features here. The landing gear wheels spin and they can move up and down. Also, you can flip the missile launchers forward, though the front wheel gets in the way if you leave it down. The overall jet isn't horrible, but I've seen better mold-wise. The transformation is basically one big automorph. There are a few extra details afterwards, but otherwise this gimmick does most of the work for you. The reverse conversion is a bit trickier though, hence why I'm making a separate video for it. A couple of parts such as the forearms can pop off during transformation thanks to so-so quality control. I fixed this with the super glue trick though said trick doesn't work as well on these backpack panels. The jet mode is okay and the transformation is straightforward, but the robot mode is where most of the positives are. He's still got the cool colour scheme going for him, but the toy itself has lots of personality here. He manages to look both agile and strong at the same time. Of course, animated figures are known for their unique proportions. But on the subject of personality, I wish this one had a cowardly facial expression. I know he's Starscream's clone and all, but the smirk just doesn't fit Skywarp's sort of character. He's putting on a brave face, I guess. Articulation is pretty good for the most part. The head doesn't turn much, either way, and the waist doesn't at all but his limbs are highly poseable.
For robot mode features, you've got the missile launching gimmick, which works okay. The missiles themselves have shark-like expressions on the tips, like Beast War Cyber Shark, which is kind of cool. Also, you can do something that doesn't really serve any purpose, it's just there. Push the missile launchers forward, like this, and some panels extend. Maybe in the show, weapons are actually revealed within. My only other issue is that the backpack doesn't clip on that well. Otherwise, this is a pretty sturdy figure. Despite its faults and its general simplicity, I like the toy, and of course, the colour scheme helps. But if the quality control issues are a problem with every copy, I'd get one of the other animated toys I reviewed before this guy. The reverse transformation video will be coming soon, but until then, till all I want.